No, I'm about to go in. Tell me that I couldn't do it, but I gotta bring it back. So they're really not with it. Let's go. Tell me where you're from, where you stay. Now I keep it lit from the coast to the bay. Peace on the right. If you guys are sick of wasting money on packs, go check out my sponsor. They offer the cheapest and most reliable way to buy coins straight from the source. Use code MAZE at checkout for 15% off your entire order. Defense right now in Madden 21 is extremely hard. Whether you started playing last week with early access or you're just getting the game now, you're probably realizing when you get online that it's a lot easier to score on offense than it is to stop somebody on defense. Every year when the new game drops, there's new schemes and new defenses that work better than others. And so in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys what I think is probably the best and most dominant defense in Madden 21 right now and probably the closest thing we have to getting a stop now before we get into the defense as always we're gonna go over the best and the worst comment of the day the best comment of the day coming from BMA Jr. who said, forget Mike Evans, I'm not letting my girl even see Fabio. Well, Brock, you better keep her away from this video because Fabio is right here and he has something to say to you guys. Hello, my name is Fabio and I like big titty milfs. Classic Fabio. And the worst comment of the day comes from Slimothy who said, hopefully if I play your video loud enough, someone will hear me and let me out of my uncle's basement. He's had me in here for weeks. Fabio, come back. This is some fucked up shit, Fabio. Yes, that is bullshit. You gonna stand for this? I will not stand for this. No? Alright, go get him, Tiger. Helps on the way, Slimothy. Getting into today's video, it's gonna be all about defense, and if you guys have not played online yet, you probably don't know the meta and what everybody's running, so let me just sum it up for you real quick. It's all man coverage. Because of the slow user and quicker quarterback throwing animations, blitzing is pretty much dead this year. In Madden 20, the meta was to blitz 7 or 8 and just use her over the middle of the field. This year, because you can't really use her, the blitzes come in slower and the quarterbacks get rid of the ball faster. If you try to blitz the house on your opponent, they're going to die you up every time. So when you do play online, it's going to be a lot of coverage, not very much blitzing, but people are going to be in lighter sets, meaning nickel, dime, and dollar, with a lot of DBs on the field to defend the pass. So far, the run game hasn't really been a big issue for me at all. So, so far, it's been a lot of passing and very high scoring, which I think is a positive. Honestly, if the game could stay like this, balanced in this way all year, I would love that. I feel like when we play a video game, you want it to be exciting, you know? Passing the ball, high scoring, those make for exciting shootout ball games. I think that's what we all want. Getting into today's defense, it's going to be based around dollar. This is probably the most common defense you're going to see dollar three two six now this is in a variety of different playbooks the one i'm in right now is the las vegas raiders now i wouldn't recommend using the las vegas raiders because they are a four three this year and i don't really like that but i just i know they have dollar so we're just focusing on dollar find a playbook with dollar i know there's a bunch of them out there um, and it's not gonna be that hard to find if you just search it on the internet. But dollar three two six, that means three down linemen, two linebackers in the middle, and then six defensive backs over the field. So this is about as light of a package as it gets with six DBs out there. I've even seen some people still running big dime one four six, even though I don't think it's that good this year. But back to this defense, let's focus on dollar. So like I said, six defensive backs. If you're playing mutt, I would recommend you know having five really really good corners and then two coverage safeties as well, just because you're gonna want those guys that not be liabilities in the past game so we're going to the specific personnel of the Patriots I chose the Patriots because I know they have really good man-to-man -man corners namely uh, Stefan Gilmore he's probably the best man-to-man -man corner in the game now as far as your D line goes you're gonna have three pass rushers and what I've seen a lot of people doing what's probably most effective is if you get the outside rushers to have edge threat on them now because the meta is only rushing three having edge threat on both of your outside pass rushers is very very valuable because it allows you to still get pressure from those outside guys despite playing a more coverage style defense so make sure if you can have edge threat on your outside guys in ultimate team this year they do ability points so it's very easy to spread out your abilities the way you want them and i think at least having one ability on those outside rushers is really going to do wonders uh, for your defense as far as the linebackers go i would get as good of coverage guys as you can i know probably one of the best coverage middle linebackers right now is Deion jones from the falcons the middle linebacker so if you can scoop him up for a coverage linebacker in the middle that would help as well and then like i said you're gonna have four cornerbacks on the field four man coverage you want all of these guys to be absolute studs because that's what's going to hold up your entire defense and then if you even want to have corners at safety to man them up and do what you want with them that would be good as well because the run game isn't as big of a deal i think having corners at safety is a lot better this year because they're not as much of a liability in the run game like no one's really that worried about the run game at least i haven't been so far 
and if you put them in coverage and if you want to man up your safeties a cornerback is going to do a much better job than a safety is now the play everyone is running is cover one robber press and again you can run cover one robber press out of a dime package or a nickel package as well and have almost the same effects dollar is just the one i'm seeing the most so we're going to call dollar three two six cover one robber press and then on offense we're going to go into a passing play and we're just going to go to a random shotgun pass uh, and show you guys how I would set up the defense. Now, when we're looking at this defense, this is what it looks like when you come out. As you see, everybody's manned up. You got an extra linebacker blitzing, and then two zones in the middle of the field. So the setup that everyone is running out of dollar cover one robber is extremely, extremely simple. There's only a couple adjustments. The first one is you are going to user the free safety. So you see I'm on the deep zone here. This is Devin McCory, the free safety for the Patriots. This is going to be your user. So obviously, you know, you want someone with high change of direction, high speed. Uh, and if you're using a safety or a corner, they're going to be a lot faster than a linebacker. So your user is going to be this free safety right here, Devin McCourty. The first adjustment you're going to make is you're going to press all your players. So that's triangle and then left stick down. That is going to bring all your DBs up to press. I believe they were already pressing from this play based on the formation. Now, the next thing you want to do is adjust to have two curl flats on the field. So if you double tap triangle, it's going to bring up your DB adjustments. I'm going to take that other safety, the R1 DB, and put him in a curl flat. And then I'm going to double and then I'm going to put this blitzing linebacker right here, Bentley, in a curl flat as well. So double tap uh, your D pad to the right choose Bentley and put him in a curl flat so that's what the defense looks like and literally guys that is it um you just use her the middle of the field wherever you want and your man-to-man -man coverage was probably going to stick now this is extremely oversimplified so a good player is going to tear this apart but this is going to get the job done for the most part this is the simplified version of it just press and put two curl flats on the field user the middle and hopefully gets the job done now additionally if you don't want to get beat over the top because that is definitely a possibility when you're pressing with no safety help uh, just press triangle and you can shade over the top with your right stick that is going to make your dbs kind of play more over the top of their receiver rather than aggressively pressing them and getting underneath and it's going to be less likely they get beat for a streak or a one play touchdown so as we hike the ball we take a look at this we're just going to watch it looks like it was just four verticals so obviously it's not very hard uh, to defend four verticals i'm going to run another play run the exact same setup and show you guys how they play so this is gun bunch um again you're just going to press triangle press then put your linebacker and safety in a curl flat and watch the man coverage go to work. User anywhere that like if you guys look at that, everything, everything is bagged. There was nothing open there. Now, this is actually perfect because this is a play that is very common online. Gun bunch is probably the most common offense right now. 10 is supposed to be on a drag, I think, and then 81 is supposed to be on a crosser. Both of them usually would beat man coverage, but if you look, 10 gets pressed out of his fucking socks. Doesn't even get into that in or drag route until he's 10 yards down the field. That was, that was not how the route was supposed to look. And then 81, you know, Stephon Gilmore is just on his ass, not open at all. And then you see here, 27 looks like he might have gotten beat on a streak by Sutton, but frankly, I've seen this happen online. When they throw this, 27 Jackson is going to come, come underneath this and probably intercept it. So, Overall, this man coverage is absolutely sticking. Then you got your curl flats on the sidelines for extra help and your user over the middle. In all, though, you can see just how good the man coverage is. Right now, for some reason in the game, man coverage just really sticks to the receivers. Now, that's the extremely simplified setup. Now, I'm going to get into some more advanced adjustments you can make off this defense to not give your opponent the same exact look every time and maybe even play a little bit better. So, like I said, first things first, we're going to press. Then we're going to put our, our safety in a curl flat put our linebacker in a curl flat now if you're worried about the run game because right here it looks like they could probably run an inside zone might get a few yards all you gotta do is just pinch your d-line down and now the run game is essentially dead because uh, they're gonna clog up those holes in the middle so that's another adjustment you can make if you want to stop the run game now something else you can do is cross manning now that is something that they tried to take out of the game and you cannot cross man a corner so if i go on jones here and i try to man him up on the x receiver across the field because that's what cross manning is is when you take somebody and you man them up with someone across the entire field for them so i'm gonna take jones i'm gonna try to man him up on the x receiver i press x it just doesn't work because you can't cross man your cornerbacks anymore however you can cross man your safety so if i adjust my safety r1 and i put him on triangle and i put triangle manned up on x and then I use her a linebacker. You're going to see that cross man is effective. Now, we don't need two guys manned up on the same thing. So I'm going to take those slot corners and I'm going to put them in curl flats. Okay. 
so now we have almost the same defense my user is now a linebacker we still got curl flats out there except now we have a cross man from our safeties and this can help stop a lot of man beating crossers slants drags all that good stuff if you have your safeties cross man like this additionally this is going to really confuse your opponents because they're not really going to know who's manned up on who and you can switch it up almost every single time so again man coverage looking something like this let's run the play and see how it looks they run all the way across the field you see that cross man played beautifully nothing is open again so the matchup i really want to look at right here is 17 so he's running a post which is obviously a man beating route now because he's cross man mccordy is the one who's manned up on him over here now watch how mccordy plays this he comes inside and the post doesn't really beat him too bad he plays that perfectly because he had inside leverage to start because he was cross manned and the reason you can cross man like this is because this slot corner is your outside help, okay? So you might say, what if he runs an out or a corner? Well, that's what the curl flat's for. If he was to run a corner route, that's what this guy's job is to stop, and then he can hold it until this guy can come across the field and make that play. But in this case, it was an inside breaking route, and the inside leverage uh, helped us win that matchup and cover it perfectly. No one was open at all. So one more time, I'll give you guys a look at how that one's going to look. So you just press. I'm going to put those slot corners and curl flats, and then I'm going to man up the other dbs and that's a look i might do right there um this isn't perfect but this is a solid look i'd say and then just use her over the middle of the field every time your opponent comes out you can switch up who's manned up on who and uh, again just looking at this man covered it is beautiful how much it locks everything down i tried to keep it simple short sweet and to the point so i hope this defense does help you guys out especially if you're just starting out in the game and you're not really sure of how, what to run or what the meta is going to be let me just tell you right now this is 100 the meta so if you're looking for a defense i would totally go with this now the concept i showed you you're going to see most commonly in dollar but like i said you can take these concepts of cover one robber and the adjustments i made literally the exact same adjustments you can use it in a nickel pack in a dime package and basically run the same concept out of a different set so if you have a playbook that doesn't have dollar don't trip you can take the same cover one robber concept and apply it however you want well i hope this video helped you guys out if you did like it please leave a like down below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new we got a whole lot more tips coming soon to the channel so i'll be seeing you guys in the next video